welcome back guys i took a short break from creating videos because i was preparing for amazon and yes i did got placed so today i'm making this video in order to share my experience like how i prepared for amazon the online assessment round the interviews and all that so firstly let me clear it up we all have applied so many times for amazon yet it doesn't respond right so the reason being in order to get into amazon you need to have one of the two things either your university needs to have some sort of tie with amazon you know if you're a student or you need to have a referral from someone who works in amazon like maybe your relative someone you're close to or otherwise you can get it by linkedin you know talking to the hrs and all so having one of these two is like a must without them i'm not sure if there's other way so most of us have been applying to amazon uh, without applying you know one of these things and that's why we don't hear any response from them so this is the issue okay so what we'll do is firstly i'll tell you about the complete process i'll talk about the different rounds and then i'll tell you how i prepared for them okay in the end i'll share some tips and some resources which can help you when you are preparing okay so let's start from the very beginning when our tpo informed us about amazon like it's coming so we were asked to register for it and there was no resume shortlisting process all who applied were given a chance to sit in this online assessment round provided they haven't uh, you know given an interview for amazon in the past six months it's their policy okay so let's go round by round so firstly i'll talk about the online assessment round okay this was uh, the first round from where for, from where they shortlisted you know uh, the few from the bunch so there has been a significant change in the pattern of oa earlier what used to happen was they would give us i think 20 mcqs based on data structures java oops networking and all that with two coding questions and shortlist student on the basis of the result of this exam but this year they made slight modification they changed the pattern a little bit okay this year there were seven debugging question two coding question a few work cell assessment question not sure how much i think maybe 50 uh, well uh, they are just uh, with the help of this they just want to assess how you are okay and uh, 24 aptitude question i'm not sure about the number in this one but uh, the thing is with aptitude question was you can't go back well i'll be i'll be going to the details so uh, let's actually talk about all these sections because you know when you are giving it might help you so firstly the debugging part in this we were just supposed to manipulate the code in order to get the desired output you know they'll give you the problem statement and they'll tell you that this is what we are supposed to do maybe this code should return a st uh, the number of arrays in increasing or decreasing or whatever order okay and it's not provided that uh, providing the desired output so what are the necessary changes that needed to be made okay so basically the changes were very small maybe a sign maybe a semicolon all that so this part was uh, not that hard okay now coding questions the two coding questions they were doable if you have a basic idea of ds and if you have a clear concept they were also not very high level of no, they were also not very high level okay now after that question uh, Aptitude questions were also very easy, but the thing with them was in aptitude question, you know, you can't go back. You you just have to keep going uh, to the next day, next next. You can't check the previous question again. So that was the only catch in this part. Okay. So in order to clear this round, one must definitely solve both the coding question because other parts are relatively easy. So this is like that, you know, the main part on on the basis of which you get the cutoff. So doing both of these questions is like a must okay uh, so once you get shortlisted from the from this way round your tp informs you and gives you an idea of the interview dates and after that uh, amazon will you know send you an email regarding uh, the platform in which your interview will be conducted the name of the interviewee and date and time of the interview and all that you'll get a mail for that okay so now let's talk about the technical round one it was uh, person interview since it's in covid we had like a you know we had it on amazon chime and <clears throat> it was a virtual interview okay so the interview was very nice he gave me his intro he didn't ask for mine and he jumped straight to the coding questions he asked me two questions the thing is these interview was supposed to be like 45 minute to one hour that that was the duration of these interviews so my interview lasted for the one com complete hour okay now I can't share the questions because of the policy, but let me share the topics from where they were asked. So he asked me questions from graph, linked list, and stack. Two questions compromising the you know concept of these structures. Okay, I was able to answer both the questions. Now all those who performed well enough in this first round, they were asked 
to give another round okay so you will get another meal on uh, that day only you will get another meal for a technical round two so uh, in this again the interview started with his intro he gave me the intro like uh, i do this and i am in this branch okay and then he asked me for my interview okay and then we started uh, uh, with the questions again they were only two coding questions so this time the questions were from from uh, the topics like trees recursion and dp okay and uh, i answered both and then we had a discussion on the latest technologies and after that uh, he said that he was there and he was got so after a few days the results were announced and i got the offer okay so now i need to talk about how i prepared for them okay this might this might actually be a very helpful part for you so for the online assessment i think i had 10 days from the time to getting registered to the day the exam was conducted so what i did, did was i simply brushed up a few days like trees graphs and also practice a few deep problems i didn't do much for oa but i just kept practicing a little bit okay now uh, after the oa uh, for the interviews what i did was i think i had one month for the uh, from the time i got uh, the confirmation that i was selected for interviews and the day to which interview was supposed to happen i think i had like a month so uh, i had a i had one month basically and uh, these both the both the interviews they were conducted on the same day so there was no gap okay so for the interviews what i did was i practiced data structures different data structures like try segment tree suffix tree heap uh, red black tree all of them in depth i practiced questions on lead code to get a hang of it uh, solved questions on gfg with the tag of amazon gfg has this great you know uh, it offers a great uh, n number of questions with uh, the amazon tag which have been actually been asked in amazon beforehand so they were really helpful i tried to solve as much as i can okay uh, and i also read into the experience of other you can just you know search go to google and search gfg amazon archives and you get a list of uh, you know interview experiences which can be very helpful for you also so this was all i did and since i had a month one month i kept doing it i did it continu continuously for one month so that's why i didn't have any time and i didn't make any videos so this was all uh, this is how i basically prepared for you know the interviews and uh, my tips would be you know practice a lot my tips for this will be practice a lot and focus more on trees and graphs since question from these are generally asked you, you know if you solve a few questions of amazon then you'll start seeing a pattern that they generally ask question from trees and graphs that's a given okay uh, during the interviews think aloud whatever you are thinking whatever approach is coming to your mind whatever you want to do uh, you know keep speaking try to engage the interview it, it will help you a lot okay and if you get stuck feel free to ask for help the interviews from amazon they are great they are very helpful and they keep guiding you so if you get stuck keep uh, you know do ask them like what am i supposed to do now okay uh, and this was all hopefully my experience was of your help if you have any questions any qu any queries you know feel free to ask in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help so this was all from my side and thank you